Hi, I'm Lizzie Allen from Thimbleland Thread Quilting. Today I'm using my Quilters Creative Touch 5 Pro and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you girls how to set screen scaling in the Quilters Creative Touch 5 Pro. It is referred to as screen scaling or calibration. This allows us to get more exact measurements which is very important when fitting designs into blocks or pantographs. What this means is avoiding our edge-to-edge -edge designs finishing short when stitching out a row. In other words, what's mimicked on the screen portrays what will actually be quilted. The first thing I need you to do is measure and cut a piece of paper 3 inch square. This really needs to be accurate. If you've got any of the yellow post-it notes, these fortunately are that size. What we need to do is go into our home screen of our software and we need to select the pantograph. Note, you may be asked to set your safe area, so simply follow the prompts on your screen. I've already done mine. From the top right hand side of the menu bar at the top of our screen, you'll see the help icon. I'm going to tap that to select it. Here you'll see all our tutorials on pantograph, training, advanced. Now what I need to do is when I go over here to the right hand side to see help topics, tutorials, this is the one that we're looking for, set screen scaling. Simply tap to select it. Now what we're going to be doing is placing the 3 inch square piece of paper on the screen that actually appears in front of us. You'll actually note that mine has already been set and this measurement up here where my mouse is says 4320 by 4320. It tells us that we need to click and drag the lower right sides of the white box so the outer edges are precisely 3 inches. You'll need to use a rule to actually measure this. This is the three inches that they're actually referring to. You can use your style to your finger to drop and drag the bottom right intersecting corner. You'll actually note that when I do this you'll actually see up here that my uh, measurements have now actually changed. I'll just reset that back. When you do have this measuring 4320, that means that it's actually 3 inches square. When you've done that, basically select OK. Well done. You'll now have accurate measurements when using the rule within the software and true scaling on the screen. This is really helpful in our quilting process. Hope this works for you. Thanks for watching.